Hey everyone, Tony here with another lesson and today I want to give you guys a video lesson on MBOT. This is a stock that ran from around $6 and hit a high today of just over $20. Uh, that's gains of almost 300% in only 24 hours. And this just shows the power and potential of small cap penny stocks and why I love to trade and teach them so much because they can just completely change your life if you can learn how to trade them properly. If you don't know how to trade them, then you can lose money very fast. If you get caught on the wrong side of the move, and if you just don't know the right setups and right strategies to trade them, uh, you're gonna get crushed. And that happens to so many traders, and I wanna do my best to avoid that happening to you. And that's why I created this video, this channel, and that's why I created Trade Buddies. So this is gonna be a recording of a webinar I did today with Trade Buddy. Um, I do two webinars per day, every single day, every single day that there's a trading day. Um, one in pre-market and one at market close, breaking down the trades of the day. And this was just a very good lesson and I wanna share it with you guys as kind of a Christmas gift and also a gift because I haven't really been making that many videos. Um, I'm gonna do my best into 2020 to just keep pumping out content on YouTube. So if you have any videos that you want me to make, drop them down below in the comment section. But with that being said, I'm gonna get into this recording. Like I said, I do these every single day. So if you are interested in joining TradeBuddy, make sure to stay until the very end because I'm giving an extraordinary coupon code on joining the program. Um, basically just as a thank you on supporting this channel and also as a nice Christmas and New Year's present. So I hope to see you in the room in 2020. With that being said, let's get into the recording. Hopefully you guys enjoy, take some notes, because there are some very awesome lessons in here. Gonna do a quick recap on MBOT, because this had a, a pretty perfect setup today in the morning. Um, as you all know, MBOT was the main one we were watching yesterday, and today in the pre-market webinar, um, and in the pre-market webinar, I had mentioned um, this this 1090 level as being a very important level to watch. Um, number one, it was the previous day high. You can see right here, right before market closed yesterday, we had decent volume there and it topped out just around 1090. And that was also a level from the daily line chart um, right here so you can see the reason why it held up as resistance yesterday was because of this level on, on the daily chart at just around 1090 and this was just a simple case of previous resistance holding up as new support so it, it's a very basic concept but we see it happen time and time again you don't need anything else don't need any other indicators don't need you know like crazy stuff on your chart just know how to mark off levels of support and resistance and um, have confidence in those lines. So this had a nice test of 1090 in pre-market. And at first in pre-market, I was kind of saying, you know, just let me see how it acts at market open first. But looking at the big picture, um, it still is extremely bullish. Like as we know, like as long as the stock is able to hold the previous levels of resistance as new support, then all the sellers are trapped, all the shorts are trapped, and it still has lots of potential. And the main thing that was crazy like about this stock was just how much more volume it had today when compared to yesterday. Like if you look at this chart here, like it seems like the volume yesterday was basically nothing when compared to what we saw this market open. So that was a very nice dip to buy into using using that level at 1090s huge huge odds of success very low risk and huge potential because when you look at a chart like this where you know that there's lots of shorts trapped it's going to keep squeezing up until shorts have to do margin calls and you know the sky is basically the limit we know that with mbot like this ran in the past last year in January, basically right up to 1938 as well. And this run was also the same exact setup where the, 
like this ran up to the tens on the first day and then the next day it squeezed up and blew up all the sellers so this was basically just an exact repeat of what happened in the past um, same exact move same exact setup and basically ran you know the same amount so just understand that you know having levels of previous resistance hold as new support when shorts are trapped is a very powerful setup when going long you want to buy in here using these dips and you can risk the break underneath it you can risk say five ten percent on this and you know that like because of the previous history it has potential to run up into the 19s and that was a very solid sell target to have and we mentioned this level yesterday in the trade recap and also in the pre-market webinar today so I, I hope that you guys are watching those hopefully that you're tuning in for those because that's really the point that we make the plans for the trades today um so yeah you could have waited until the breakout over the pre-market high but then you'd be buying it here into the 15s and right away you're losing five dollars per share that you could have potentially made so i want to avoid giving guys the idea just to buy into the breakouts because that has lots of risk when you do that be learning on how to buy into like these dips of the previous resistance holding as new support so use the five minute chart please get off the one minute chart i never use it use your levels on the daily chart and just mark off those important levels of previous resistance holding as new support. You see a stock that is very bullish, it's holding the previous day high and it has lots of shorts trapped, then it is a very good bet to take. So once we took this dip, um, it basically got a ton of volume. You can see this had astronomical volume today. Like when compared to yesterday, yesterday's volume was around 6.7 million and today, we had 23.8 million and keep in mind it was a half day today so like i had over three times the volume in half the time and um it was just you know amazing to see this big squeezer so hopefully you all are watching it hopefully you you guys traded it because it was hands down the number one thing that we were watching yesterday and today um it's a very basic setup, like I said, using previous resistance as new support. It's the main way I trade, and I love to see levels that have been respected on the daily chart, like you can see here at 1090. So you see it respected on the daily chart, and then you also see it respected intraday. And that's how you know that traders are definitely using that level, and it gives you very high odds of success when taking that entry now once you have that entry um, you need to look for a profit target of course so like i was saying in pre-market if you're going to be taking this entry into the 1090s you definitely want to be paying yourself here into this resistance in pre-market just because there were lots of lots of shorts who wanted to attack this into the 15s and we don't know if they're going to be able to hold it up or not like what we do know is that we have lots of resistance there so we want to pay ourselves into the resistance levels we cannot get too greedy and whenever you're up like nearly five dollars per share of course you want to lock in some partial profits you can hold some to see if it's gonna like have a test of the next level but you definitely want to pay yourself along the way. So that was the first profit target there. It just kept running up. And you can see this is exactly why we like to use the five minute chart instead of the one minute chart, because on the five minute chart, every candle was green, like until it hit the 19s, meaning there was no reason to sell your whole position yet. If you're looking at the one minute chart, 
I mean, it just looks super choppy, huge drops, it halted. It would be very hard to hold through this when you're staring at these one minute candles like being created. Because for example, you could be using the idea of, yeah, like as long as the previous levels of resistance hold as support, it's gonna stay bullish. And you could have had this level here drawn like around 16. And you're gonna see, oh no, like it broke the trend. Now it's bearish, let me stop out. But then you lose that last piece of the move. Whereas on the five minute chart, this whole thing was green the whole way, all the way up to $19. So this is a very good example of why you need to use the five minute chart, especially if you want to capture those larger moves on the chart. If you like to scalp more for 10, 20 cent moves, then sure, maybe the one minute chart works better. But if you have a small account and you're trying to grow it, then you need to look to have those larger trades. And, and the only way that you can hold for those bigger moves is to get off of those smaller time frames, use the five minute, use the 30 minute, and look at the big picture. Don't be so caught up within the individual candles. So a very nice move today on MBOT. Um, once we topped out into those 19s, you can see we had a nice, nice trap here over the 1970s. So once again, this is a very good example of why you don't want to be buying like these random breakouts, like in chasing, like because there's lots of buyers who bought this breakout because they saw like a flat top breakout here, like above 1970 and they bought the very top and it, it, it had a huge reversal right away. So main thing is if you miss the move, just wait until a pullback. You do not want to chase these spikes. Sometimes you might get lucky and you might like make some money. However, um, it is just extremely risky and it's probably the number one way that traders blow up their accounts is by chasing these spikes and buying into the very top because they have FOMO. So learn how to buy into this support have confidence in the levels, use the basic rules that I teach of previous resistance holding as new support, make sure to go into the course and rewatch the lesson that's on the bag holders and short squeezes because that talks about the entire psychology behind why the previous levels of resistance hold as support. Um, it's a very good lesson and use all those pieces together and make a trading plan where you want to focus on buying stocks that are bullish, where you buy into the tests of previous resistance holding as new support. So this was like a very nice, like a nice play to be studying on and a very nice stock to trade. Um, it did basically the same exact thing that it did back last year in January. So history repeats, make sure to look back on your daily charts and just learn how these stocks move because especially stocks like MBOT, um, like when they have huge moves in the past, that usually wants to repeat in one way or another. And like I said, like this repeated basically the same exact way. So make sure to look at the daily chart first before anything and just mark off those levels that are very important on the chart. I'm going to say time and time again, previous resistance hold as new support. It's probably like the most important thing when it comes to trading is really understanding that concept and using it. And this was just a very good example. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that lesson. Hopefully you took some notes because there were some really good golden nuggets of trading in there. I'm not going to waste any more time. The coupon code for TradeBuddy is Christmas60. You can apply this to our lifetime mentorship option. You're going to get lifetime access to an eight hour trading course. That's going to teach you all the basic fundamentals of trading over 200 hours of previous lessons, just like this one and better. And also the best part in my opinion is the trade buddy chat room. One of the things I learned when, you know, starting to trade was how lonely and how boring it was 
And um, one of the worst things is that you have nowhere to go to ask questions. And having a chat room of traders that is essentially a family that all want to help each other learn how to trade is a huge benefit to your success. One of the top quotes that people say is that if you want to be successful, then you need to surround yourself with people who have like-minded interests and are also successful. So that's going to just bring you to the next level of trading and uh, it's going to help you find people and friends who just have the same common interest and makes it not so lonely and boring because yeah, we sit next to a screen a few hours a day, but if you have friends that you can talk to and depend on, um, it's going to make it a lot better in the long run. So that's one of the best things about TradeBuddy. Um, I've been trading for over five years. I've lost tens of thousands of dollars when starting out, and I have just learned from all my losses on the right way to trade. And I want to pass that knowledge on to you because, yeah, you could learn it yourself. It will take years and you will lose a lot of money, but you don't need to do that when you have a program like TradeBuddy that will teach you exactly what to do and what not to do right off the bat so you can start running hard and just just start trading profitably. So like I said, that coupon code is Christmas60. There's a link down in the description, the first link, and you can sign up there. And uh, hopefully you guys, you know, join for 2020. I can't wait to see you in there. If you join, just please feel free to send me a DM and we can hop on a live call. I'd be happy to show you the ropes and break down the basics of trading for you on a live call just like this. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.